the greatest pictures happen so quickly. You, you look back at them and it's just it's like this, they're over. I spent the whole season with the Dallas Cowboys, you know, hoping they went to the Super Bowl. So now I'm with them in San Francisco, one game removed from going to the Super Bowl. And Dallas had the game won, except with 59 seconds left in the game. Montana made the famous pass to, to Clark, you know. I'd worked on this picture of a normal lens with someone moving into your frame for a couple of years. And out of my peripheral vision, I could see something moving this way. And I cradled one lens and just focused with this finger, it wasn't autofocus then, and just shot something. I mean, I didn't even know what it was, except someone catching a ball. I couldn't have cared less about this picture. Ran on the cover next week, and it's suddenly taken on this life as Dwight Clark's the catch because it catapulted the 49ers into their great run. The early surfing pictures I did, I really wasn't surfing. The best pictures I did were back in 1976 in Hawaii, almost all done by helicopter. But there were no regulations in Kauai for the altitude of a helicopter back then. And so we dropped down and go right with the guy. I mean, sometimes blew him right off the wave. I mean, we would get down to basically sea level to shoot these pictures from an angle you could never shoot anyone, ever and never, never could do again. The hula hoop girl in Cuba is actually a rhythmic gymnast. I'd met her at a, a training facility. I took her out into the street in front of her house and posed her in front. The hard part, of course, was to get her in the street without the cars going through, because every time a car would go by, you know, you have to rearrange her hoop. And then you wanted to get that hoop right in the center of the buildings. So once the hoop moved into the edge of the building, the picture wasn't any good. So there was just one picture where it was just perfect. You know, I'm moving, she's moving. You know, your backgrounds in any picture are as important as your subject, your foregrounds. Someone once said, I never met a sky I didn't like either, because you have beautiful patterns in the sky. Not a clear blue sky. The clouds, late days, cloudy days. I mean, it gives you a, a palette. It's, it's your background to put anyone against them.